Now I have to say, as a golfer who's played this game for many years, I think we are spoilt right now. And I say that because right now the amount of golf clubs you have to choose from is incredible. And the quality of those, to me, is better than it's ever been. I also feel like in many instances, club manufacturers, well, they very much up their game and that's because they've had to. It's become a real competitive market with every brand offering some significant choice. Oh, that's nice. That felt good. Cut a little bit more. Oh, we got a kind bounce there. And in some cases, it's almost impossible to tell the difference between different clubs nowadays from different manufacturers, even from a visual perspective. And uh, that's never more true than the two we're going to have a look at today. It's a difficult putt. Roll up, roll up. So that's a good line as well, but uh, always undercooked for pace. I can the miss putter. Do what it does, uphill, straight. Oh, it did as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna look at one of the most popular irons in recent years. That is a tailor-made P790. It really has stood the test of time. It's evolved a little since its 2017 launch, was it? And the brand new model has become a little bit more refined. But recently I tested the Cobra Forge Tech iron and the first thing that came into my head when I seen it was how similar it looked to the P790. It is of course hollow bodied, it has got a foam insert, it's got some tungsten weighting in it. It is a forged face. It is so, so similar, you could almost say they're identical. So if they are almost identical in every way, and even at a price point now, they're very, very similar and difficult to split. The question is, well, do they perform any differently? Go, carry a bit more. And that's what we'll find out in today's video. Now, in recent days, I have reviewed the Cobra Forge Tech and Forge Tech X irons, and I've actually said that I find them to be the best irons that have ever been released by Cobra. Don't go in again. I just couldn't bear it anymore if I hold out with a ping chipper whilst the camera is on. I need to start doing that when it matters. So as scientific as ever, we're gonna bring these two sets of clubs out onto the golf course. I've got a five, seven and a nine iron in each of the sets. I don't know the loft off the top of my head of both of these clubs either, which is just sprung to mind. So that might make things a little bit interesting. What I do know is the Cobra Forge Tech are, I think a little bit stronger lofted, but they'll be on screen for you now. But we're gonna play from exactly the same positions with each of those irons. And I'm gonna try and find the difference between these two, because like I said, from a price point, from a looks perspective, from the makeup, from the technology, everything is the same. Why should you buy one over the other? Right, so we're going to kick things off at the shorter end of the bag. We've got a 138 to the flag, a par three. Seems a perfect opportunity to try two of the nine irons. We're going to kick things off with, uh, well, I've got the forge deck in hand. We'll play them side by side. We're going right at the flag and let's see what happens in terms of uh, first swings of the day with a couple of nine irons. It's a really solid strike. You can see that towering ball flight. It's gonna finish, yeah, just right and maybe just a tad short. You can see it just hold a little bit. We've got a slight breeze into us, but as a nine iron in terms of ball flight, absolutely spot on. That's come down and stopped on its spot. Right, see if we can follow that up with a similar sort of swing. So we've got a fair comparison, the P790. Very similar indeed. Ball flight, very similar. My swing means is just a little bit cutty at the moment. They've literally both finished just a yard short of the green. And I think if we go up there, we'll find they're absolutely side by side. In terms of two nine irons, I found nothing to split them whatsoever. But I think the differences could be the longer end of the bag is where I'm expecting to see maybe some uh, things to split these two clubs. Because right now, nine irons, you're not expecting to make two huge mistakes and you're hopefully expecting to get them out the middle of the club. But so far, so good for both of them. Right, okay, I'm just gonna chuck a couple of balls down and we're gonna place it a 160 into this flag. 
and uh, we're going to hit a couple of seven irons. But before I go any further, I can't not talk about just how similar these two clubs are visually. I'll put them on screen for you now because from the top, from a dress, it's almost impossible to split the both of them. For me, I couldn't tell you until I turned them over which is which. Then you look at the sole, there's a definite difference in terms of the uh, soles, that power slot that you see in the uh, TM product. And the shaping is slightly different and there's a slightly more refined profile in the Cobra Tech. Certainly heel and toe is chamfered away and there's a bit more relief somehow there. So that does differ. But then from shelf appeal perspective, they're that mix of sort of matte chrome, shiny chrome, and just the decals of the actual company branding. They're almost impossible to split, they really are. But today's video is not about how they, uh, what, what's, what's the same about them, we're trying to find out what the differences are. So performance wise, we're gonna hit a couple of seven irons. Let's see how we go. Oh, I'll pull that massive down the left. It felt superb. I can't tell you anything other than how it felt because it was uh, a pretty poor shot as you can see in terms of where I uh, pulled that down the left hand side. Let's see if we can do slightly better with the P790. Yeah we did. Again my alignment is obviously down the left because we aren't hitting the green that's gone very much straight and towards the bunkers. Do you know what's interesting is because I've been a big advocate of the P790 in terms of what they do in terms of feel in a not properly forged eye and a forged face. But I'm almost swayed towards the way the feel and sound is of the Cobra Tech, what they've done. It's a slightly softer feel. There's more of a harsher sound that comes off the uh, tailor made. And although those uh, performance wise are very, very different, I actually preferred the sound, I think, of the Cobra Tech. I just want to show you where those both finished. Can you see the ball in the bunker? That was the tailor-made ball. And like I said, we'd certainly pulled it left of flag. There wasn't a huge difference, in fact, as to how far I'd also pulled that left. But in terms of a distance perspective, um, great camera work and there's not a great deal of difference in terms of how far they carried. Not great shots, but each performed the same with the swing that I put on them, which is interesting. Okay, so the a couple of seven irons, not the greatest of shots, maybe didn't tell us a great deal and uh, now it gets a little bit more difficult because we're going to play a couple of five irons. Um, so certainly, like I said, a more difficult shot. We've got 175 uphill. It's on the tips of my five iron, I'll be honest with you, but uh, we'll see what these things do. More interested in putting a solid strike and seeing if we can get some real feedback in terms of what they do uh, differently and uh, in particular where they both come to rest. It's a solid strike and the best shot of it today. Um, oh, it's still going to come up into that front bunker. That was a real nice strike. Interesting enough, and again, I didn't know what I'd hit at the time. That was the Cobra Forge Tech. Feel out of them is so, so good. I, uh, yeah, difficult to criticize. So it looks like we're front bunker, which would mean, uh, well, we're a little bit short. Not a, I mean, it's not a huge miss. But let's see what this does in terms of carry distance. That's a much higher ball flight. Um, it's again going to come up short. That wind's going to hold it. Ah, oh, do you know what? It's made front edge. That's really interesting because uh, there were two. The strike with the forge tech or the swing with the forge tech was far better. Um, but I will say that the ball flights are very different as well. There's always you've got to think of the anomalies that the swing has on the impact of the performance of the golf club as well. But visually, they were very different in terms of the ball flight. The uh, five iron from the P790 was a lot higher. And interestingly enough, it's carried to the green, which surprised me a little bit because I thought the wind just might hold that a little bit, but it didn't. So they've always been really, really good in terms of performance, um, in terms of the power that comes out, the ball speed, I suppose, that comes out of the face of these clubs. So again, two five irons, very, very similar in terms of where they've gotten to, I would think. And uh, yeah. That's hard to uh, pick. How do you pick a winner? How do you separate these two things? I can't separate them at all. Well, let's just have a look at where they finished again. So the ball in the bunker was the Cobra and the ball there just did come up short was the tailor made. So they were short of the flag, which uh, I fully expected, like I said, uphill into the breeze, 175, probably playing more like 185 plus was on the tips. 
nothing to split them, I would have thought. I mean, obviously the ball's been killed once it's landed in the sand uh, from the uh, from the forged tech iron, but absolutely nothing to split them again. So interesting for me would be, I said at the beginning, I'm not too sure about the lofts of these clubs and how they differ. What, what I'd like to know, and uh, I suppose I should find out really, is that they're traveling the same distance, irrelevant of what the loft says. Maybe they're getting there differently, but they're traveling exactly the same distance. That's interesting, because I don't think the lofts are the same. Right, so for those of you who are interested, I just took a quick break onto the phone and uh, had a look. The seven iron comparison in terms of loft is one degree difference. So there's one degree stronger loft in that of the Cobra Forge deck, but I've not seen uh, a great deal to split them in terms of distance. It's got to go a little bit, run out, run out. Yep, we take that. Now some of you also might have queried the shaft that we're using in both the irons. So just to clear that up, we've got a KBS S Tor Light 105 gram shaft in the Cobra Tech. And I've got a dynamic gold um, 105 stiff in the tailor-made so very very similar shafts to be honest with you Do you know what, I'm going to finish things up there. I was doing my own little uh, test there just to see how they differ in terms of feel. And um, there's just a couple of little nine irons dinked along there. And they do differ. That's the one slight difference. I think there's a little bit of a uh, more of a, almost more of a slightly more hollow sound right throughout this whole, since 2017 to the latest iterations of the P790s. For me, there's just a slight issue with the, almost a clicky little noise. And I think, They've almost got the perfect iron if that was resolved, but still that little bit of clickiness. And I've got to say, within the Forge Tech, it's just a it is a little bit softer. There isn't that clicky noise to it, and I found it throughout every iron that I've struck, and just those little two little dinks there again. You just notice that. Other than that, quite honestly, I can't separate these two clubs. It's very, very difficult. Maybe we should do a more extensive trial and get these in on the likes of um, the GC3 and look at data and see what separates them. But this is reality. This is what happens. You've seen some uh, all right shots. You've seen some poor shots and you've seen how the clubs have performed. And I think equally, I, I don't think there's been anything that we've seen out here that uh, separates them. So they don't look any different. They don't, uh, the technology is no different. They don't perform any different, in my opinion. There is a slight price advantage to that of the Cobra, um, but it is only slight. So it's all about really, and I was even saying that from an aesthetics point of view, I mean, I think they're both really good looking irons. I go back to the beginning of the video. I think golfers are very lucky right now because we have an amazing amount of products to choose from. So if you're in the market for new irons, I would certainly put these two on the list and see how they perform for you. Anyway, as ever, thanks for watching. The likelihood is uh, you, there's a lot of you will have one of these sets of irons in the bag. So please get involved in that comment section below and uh, let me know your opinion, but more importantly, let your fellow golfers know because that's a good pointer and helps them. There might be things that I've got wrong in this video. So put me right and uh, let your fellow golfers know otherwise. Right, that's me done. I'll see you all soon.